In the today's video, I am going to share with you 42 tips how I keep my home somewhat clean and organized. Not perfectly, just somewhat. I'm going to use all natural cleaners and I'm going to share with you many hacks and tips. When we finish with a meal, we usually just grab our plate and the vitamins are left behind or we sit down and we have to go back because we forgot the vitamins. So this is a solution. A basket with the lid will solve the problem and I also keep the decoration very simple in this room. Use mat that is cut to the size at the bottom of the drawer. I use the same that I used in my cabinets for the drawers. You can easily remove it and clean it instead of dragging the whole entire drawer out each week. Once in a while I do more detailed cleaning but it helps the weekly cleaning go way faster. I use three main storage systems to keep my food fresh longer and to be able to see what I actually have in there. Simple jars with the same wide lid so all lids are the same and the glass will keep the food fresh way longer than the plastic and it's way better for your health. Great way to store all the random things on the little shelves on the door. I cut up a few vegetables so they will be ready to eat in the next day or two and all the rest I will put them in the second method of storage system that I like to use and that will be the zwilling vacuum system. I have a glass one and I have more of the bag ones that are reusable and I like to use them in the refrigerator and in the freezer. I am able to save so many food that way because they don't go bad that fast. It also helps my cooking during the week because the main part of that takes away my time during cooking is to prepare the vegetables. So once a week I can prepare them, peel them and just put them into this bag and they will be ready to use and I can cook faster. The third storage system that I like to use are metal containers that are for items I want to store flat or a bigger amount or when we're traveling and taking food from home. I can also freeze food in them but I even more like these zwilling bags because I can create a filing system so I get to see what I actually have. Having one mat at outside and one inside, it's a huge buffer to bring in the dirt. The other issue that we were dealing with, we have lots of rain, sometimes our coat is wet so we cannot put them straight into the closet. So we put these hooks up and we can dry the clothes there and then we can put them back into the closet. We also have some basket for each family member with the hats and mittens so it's easier to locate everything as we're going out in a hurry. Mm -hmm. 
We used to have a shredder which was jammed a couple of times. It was always full. Recycling was a little bit more complicated because we had to gather everything into a paper bag. And this little gadget, I love this so much because I can just cover our name and address, all the private information. So it will be safe to recycle and it definitely speeds up the time. On the recycling process, I like to store my things on the desk as vertical because it takes up way less space that way. Have a home where it's clean and tidy enough to make you feel good rather than stressing you out. It can go both ways. You can get stress from the mess or trying to keep up the home where everything is put together all the time. Once you figure out your sweet spot, you can create a system that is serving you, not the other way around. In our living room, it's very simple. We just have the everyday items that we use. We are way more relaxed in the bedrooms with the kids toys. And then in the living room where we always get together and the four of us in there multiple times a day, we invite our friends there. So we're trying to simplify things as much as possible. But I have to tell you, when our kids were little, I remember we used to have this couch taken apart. We had blankets everywhere and train tracks. <laughs> so they are older now, so it was easier to simplify. But I did love the fact that they were playing in the living room. But these days, it's much simpler. What makes this room very easy to tidy up that we have less stuff and each has its home where to put it back. It is very personal how we decorate our bedroom but I was aiming for something that is very simple because after all most of the time when I'm in this room my eyes are closed <laughs> so I want to deal with less in the morning and at night and after a long day I just want to have a nice clean bed where I can just plop in and go to sleep fast and uh, sometimes I read in there so I like the soft colors and it's very soothing and calming but I trying to keep it simple so it's easy to clean and keep it up with. The problem that can occur in this room is just too much clothes to wash. I think everybody can relate to that. <laughs> How do we create more laundry? Having a hard time picking clothes and changing it too often. Clean clothes gets mixed with the dirty one. How to simplify? Create a wardrobe that can push you through to your next laundry day. When you can get around that, so that can change person to person. But if you do a load a day, the dirt won't set into your clothes. Think about the dishes when you wash a freshly used plate or the next day when it's all dried on it. If you let the clothes sit in the hamper for a long time, they're going to get wrinkly and the smell will set in. You can soak white with a pre-soak option on the washing machine or just to stop the washing machine to soak it. Kids can do a lot of hap in that area as well. They can turn out their clothes, they can pair the socks and they can put on the sheet and once you separate all the clothes that you have to wash they can just fill up the washing machine there are many things that are little things but they can help you on the long run and of course as they are getting older they can help a lot more If you don't like to fold, you can hang things, but folded clothing takes up way less space. According to how much space you have, organize in a way that is it has an easy flow. I folded my clothing in the way that makes the most sense to me and that is layers. And the bottom layer is the one that, that is the first row and then the next one is the long sleeves and then the next one is the thicker shirts. I like to use hooks even in the closet just for the fast tidy up so I can hang things. So for adults, I like to fold the shirts because they take up less space. But for the kids, 
I like to hang them because kids don't pay that much attention when they go through on their clothes and they kind of digging and that way they get to see what's on the front of the shirt and it's very easy to put it on they don't have to fold that it's easy to take down that is something it's a big help so it depends on the situation sometimes folding is better but sometimes hanging clothes is better Stop. Sometimes even little things can be very helpful like putting the basket where it's supposed to be. I used to put the basket where I thought it looks cute and it makes sense but that's not how my family functions. <laughs> they have their own thoughts where they want to throw their clothes, where it's more convenient. So now I'm just putting there the basket but if this is the spot that they are throwing their clothes then that's where the basket needs to be. I leave the door open at all times. Um, even though now I have a window, I still like to leave it open. Maud loves dark and humid environments. I like to have cleaning tools handy so I can do a quick clean here and there as I get around that so it won't get to the point where I need to scrub. Put your trust into us and we will help. I keep the decor very minimal. We have already so much going on in this teeny tiny room. I organize things by how often they are used and I only have just a couple of items that I use every single day and they come very handy in this cute box. I know that you are having trouble believing right. As I mentioned earlier in the office space, the vertical storage is definitely space saver. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just organizing all those curling irons into this tall basket and it's a perfect size. They can stand up so it's easy to choose which one I want to use. The sink. Wash a dish every time you need to wash your hands. You will be surprised how often you have to wash your hands as you cook and how many dishes will disappear from your sink that way. Clean as you cook, cook as you clean. The key to clean things in the kitchen with less effort is to clean them when the mess is fresh. We will have to clean it and the sooner we do it, the easier it will be. I'm trying my best to remember this and it does give me some discipline to get things done on the spot. But sure, there are days when I have a headache or busyness gets in the way, but I'm working on it. Have a tray to gather random things that you often use. Hanging bags at storage on an otherwise useless space and you will have an easy access to the onions and potatoes and they will stay fresh longer if they are in a place with good ventilation. Baking parchment paper is stored here too. Try to avoid sponge. In an industrial kitchen sponges are banned because they have so much bacteria. I used this soft scrubber. It dries in 10 minutes. At night I soak them in hydrogen peroxide for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes. When I wash the cutting board, I make it wet on both sides to avoid tilting. Dry it immediately and treat it with some fractionated coconut oil once a week. Now, 
have a great flow for the disposal in a designated area. This is very important. If this gets clogged, my countertop will show it. The easier it is to put out the recycle or the compost, the more I'm willing to do it. So I put the recycle bin in the garage right next to the door. Have a place to dry towels and brushes. Find a hidden spot to put hooks where you can hang wet towels. Having those towels out of sight will make your kitchen more put together. Zone organizing, it's a way of organizing the kitchen that more people can work in there at the same time. Less walk required between tasks. I store the dishes close to the dishwasher that we have to wash the most often and we have more of it and I have some towels next to the sink underneath I have some glasses and I have some wooden plates underneath that the most convenient area holds all the dishes that I use to prepare breakfast and that is close to the pantry so I don't have to go far to grab all the flowers and the supplies are all in this area for baking. I like to have jars to get a sense of how much I have and I store empty jars here once they run out of the content and that way I have a good sense of how much space I have and how much space I can fill up with new inventory. Boxes are designed to grab the attention in the store and the packaging are designed to show you it's more than it actually is and also it can interfere with your decision and creativity. Instead, when I look at the food in the jars, I can see the actual food. I can write the expiration date on the bottom, but I don't usually do that because we go through quickly what we have in the jars. It gives a nice cohesive look and keeps the focus on the food and I can create categories with each row, one for tea, two for spices, another one for seeds. They come in a large variety and some can be found at the second hand store. You can source them very easily. What makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of? I save a lot of space in my refrigerator by using these reusable vacuum bags and it's just one thing that keeps everything more fresh but I like that it doesn't take up that much space than any other containers it's basically just takes up as much space as much food has in there There are a few vegetables that actually more happy in a glass container because they get squished very easily.
Once I fill the bags, I can just organize them by a filing system. I have a box that is the same size as the bags and I get to see what I have and I have an easy access. Small boxes that are flat are very practical to put some snack in there because they don't get squished and it's easy to grab the food from that type of container. This newest addition to my kitchen where I like to store everything that is related to bread making. I thought the drawer is going to be practical to store all the spoons that I like to use when I scoop out the flour. But I use these spoons more often so I want to have an option where I can just grab all the spoons and just take it with me into the different areas in the kitchen and use them. A few weeks ago I reorganized our kitchen and some things worked out and some didn't. <laughs> so I'm going to fix those organization problem areas that I created. <laughs> Whoever comes into the kitchen to do something in there, they want to use specific things and they like them to be available on the top drawer. <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to reorganize things to make it work better. But mainly I keep in mind the less used items going on the bottom drawer. The plates are going to be located next to where I wash the dishes so it will be an easy and fast way to put them away and right underneath I thought it's going to be a good spot for all those wooden plates that I have that I like to use for serving food. We had some water leaking under the sink area so that's why I kept things out from there but now it's ready to go back to that spot.
I have these boxes for a very very long time they are from IKEA but since it's more than a 10 years old product they don't make it anymore but I find two similar on Amazon one with a lid the other one it's without the lid so that's not exactly the same but there are some variety for that I have a tendency to forget about things even if I have less I still forget about where can I find it or even if it exists so for the way my brain is working I like to organize item by the material like all the metal ones are in one drawer all the silicone shapes and molds are in one drawer and the wooden ones are in one drawer so that helps me to locate things easier and faster bought this cute pear shaped basket slash hot pot holder <laughs> a few years ago at Goodwill and I use it as a decoration but I needed to fix it a little bit
for next I would like to share with you how I like to fold all the kitchen towels and aprons to make it into a size that works for me to be easy to reach for used as a tablecloth and also when I pack a picnic in the basket I like to use these ones For the aprons, I like to match the bottom corners and then after that I'm just shaking them and everything will fall into its place so it's gonna be more smooth that way to fold the odd shapes.
stars come to shine when it's dark From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. This organizer is from IKEA and I love this because it has so many different sizes and options to organize things in there that are kind of random. So I got some office supplies and some glues rubber bands and this kind of sorts of things that kind of random but we need it so i like how it looks and i can keep it in the living room where it comes very handy how come the trees get undressed when it's cold and don't they miss the leaves they left behind could it be Until winter comes Until winter comes Until winter comes It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder Things got very busy around here and my home it started to fall apart a little bit <laughs> here and there so there are some areas that I want to fix and even further to simplify because that just helps me to keep and stay on track with the things that I have to do every day. This closet is prone to collect things that kind of be pushing around and around until find the perfect place for that, which is never happens. <laughs> but I set aside items that I might use in the future. Also, this is the place where I reach for the cleaning supplies, so it's a high traffic area. Here's the reason why I like to store everything in the same container because my brain can make a decision faster because I don't have to choose from shapes and sizes it's just only the content that I get to see so I can make a faster decision which one I want to use for cleaning. I 
have this soft scrubbing mixture that you can see the recipe on the screen and I love that I like to use this on many surfaces mostly on sinks and on the glass cooktop because it doesn't scratch the surface but I haven't used it for a while so it dried out but I have some leftover coconut oil fractionated coconut oil so it's always in the liquid form and I'm going to just add two ads and it's going to be creamy again You're gonna see the process of organizing in this video as I'm changing things around and I will explain it why. And for now I'm trying to just uh, simplify the laundry room. One thing it's out of our way so it requires a lot of walking for our most used items. Also I just want to keep the things here that helps me to clean the clothes. I met her back in 2005 It was a crooked little smile that caught my eye Time went by and it was her and I She promised me to never leave my side But she left me here alone still check my phone cause I can't move on Whoa. why did she go One of the things that I'm going to remove from this room will be the batteries. We have some rechargeable one, we have some other kind as well. And we have some drawers in the living room. I'm going to move them there just because it's a more convenient location for that. And I'm gonna go through on this toolbox because it's collected over a year. It's just a collection of random items. So I'm going to put some things in the garage and then the most important things like the hammer and the basics one I will put into the drawer in the living room.
little tangerine essential oil and the whole room will smell so nice i always love this scent after cleaning it's just fresh and sweet at the same time some wooden box on my wish list I have a few of them already but it's been a very long time I purchased them the last time and I could just couldn't find the one that I was looking for which was a smooth finish and this size because IKEA has a smaller one Home Depot, Home Depot has some that are bigger but it's it's kind of very rough <laughs> and it's a weaker quality but I find these at by Mart and it was $9.99 so the price was amazing and my goal for this closet is to eventually have more natural elements and more wooden tone in there but until we get around to do that I'm going to work with these boxes so basically that will give this built-in vibe <laughs> to the closet where I can hide all those things that I want out of sight and out of reach uh, that would be the winter clothes and I'm already putting away some of the summer clothes not all of them because we still have some warm weather goal for today to fill up these boxes up there and some will stay empty but uh, a few of them I will fill it up with some pillowcases and sheets and blankets and some of the things that we don't use that often so these shelves behind the door I can occupy them with something that we use on a more regular basis There are a few reasons why I like to use the same sheet every single time. So when I wash the sheet, I put back right away after I dry them and that way I don't have to fold them at all. So these are just backups. Each person in the family have one backup just in case something happens with the dryer. That one sheet method works for me very well. I 
I have my back and forth how much stuff I should keep on the countertop but I'm ending up with the most useful option for me is to keep the everyday items nearby the cooktop and that would be the little wooden utensils and spoons and the bigger ones as well so i'm just going to use a little tray to give a more cohesive look and i'm just going to add some sage that i cut from my garden for next since i have those wooden boxes <laughs> i am going to put some of these mods in there because I don't use them that often and I could just have an extra space in the drawer which is always needed and I also am going to move things around a little bit As I started to open and empty out a couple of drawers <laughs> I started to become a little bit overwhelmed so I'm just going to clean out a few that I know I'm going to stick with that I already arranged in a way that I like it so that will be just a quick cleaning before I continue with the organizing I really don't prefer to stack items in my drawer of course there are areas where it's necessarily but especially with the pots I like to keep them with the lid so that way I can just grab and just put it on the cooktop so it's easier and faster I'm going to move this box on the top of the pantry we'll see that <laughs> but for now I'm going to switch a couple of the items that I moved on to the island uh, this is not working out for me over here I don't use it in this area and I just I don't use it that often to be on the top drawer which is a golden place and I'm just going to move all the serving dishes and plates that we like to use and since it's a bigger drawer I hopefully going to be able to fit all of them in there and the smaller drawer will hold all the baking items
You can tell by the colors I'm in full swing for fall. I just love the warm colors, especially orange. It's my favorite. These are about seven days of eggs of procrastination <laughs> and also I got a bunch of apples from a friend. I want to process them and make some apple sauce and I have some tomatoes so over the weekend I'm going to cook with those and I have some parilla leaves that I dried and I'm going to save them for the winter and i'm going to clean the shaft and i mean like a deep cleaning <laughs> that i have to do here and i have to move the shafts and clean the wall as well The funny thing as we clean the house it's it's a never ending open or I should say open ended <laughs> project because one leads to the other one so I just needed something from this drawer and I realized that all the things that I decluttered from the laundry room is still sitting here so I'm going to fix that now. going to hang some items Liners are great for helping to stop water damage, stains, spills and scratches. No, 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 no. All of my friends say take care. That man is trouble if this be And go it down, I know I gathered all the items in one drawer that I need to create a meal. No, no. few plates and the silverware in one drawer to get us through the day. Alike material or often used together items stored in one drawer. My desire for a clean kitchen and pantry is to enjoy cooking healthy meals. I feel more inspired if I'm not overwhelmed with the destruction of dirty dishes. The reason I like to use jars because I can maximize the space I have for storage. I can see the exact amount of food I have. It's a non-toxic way of storing food. I can vacuum seal it so it can extend the shelf life of the dry goods. The large jars are for bulk items and they are being washed between refill. One row is for flour, one for pasta, one for grains and one is for random items. The 
containers with some soapy water. Same rules here as with the large jars. Each row will represent one category. You can actually store these spices upside down so that way it's going to seal even better. When I used to store these spices in my drawer in my previous kitchen, they were upside down because that way I was able to see what was in there. Under the jars of ghee and lard I like to use a little bit of a paper just to catch up all the grease. of storing all the jars of honey in a box with a lid to keep it away from the ants if they show up like they do once in a while. The selection of the food and teas and dried goods are stored in the jars but these boxes holding the refill. These wooden boxes are from IKEA and they serve the purpose of like the tray. I like to categorize items like I have one for baking so when I start to bake I just grab one of this box that contains all the baking soda, baking powder and flavorings. Flowers, greens, rice, lentils, pasta, random. <laughs>
One of my goal for the day is to finish the big chunk of it before everybody arrives home. And I'm almost there. I can see the table now. <laughs> Grocery outlet had some rice noodles, so I stocked up on that one. Bananas for the smoothie is going on the lower shelf. I bought four trays at IKEA and I had a hard time where to store them and finally I find this spot, top of the boxes, it covers the mess and it has a place to leave. It is getting late, but I have some idea that I still want to accomplish and organize today. I want to switch things up under the sink. I need this taller storage space. My favorite staple recipes are stored in the binder in sleeves and I like that, that it doesn't get dirty and I can just wipe it off as I'm baking, it can get messy and also I bought this vitamin and mineral guide and I'm just going to tuck it into the binder. Water's rising, the dam is breaking in. For potatoes and onions, they are like the dry and dark space. I have these cute hanging bags from IKEA and I'm just going to wrap each onion and potato into a paper that I like to recycle and reuse again for the same purpose. like these organizers because the air can go around the potatoes and onions and also I can save some space with that. I have not seen this organizer lately at IKEA but you can buy those shopping bags <laughs> that looks very similar and they would do the same purpose. The rules will keep breaking.
back to this under the sink cabinet so I want to put things there that I cannot put anywhere else because mostly I have drawers and they are way lower than these items that I want to store behind the cabinets so this spot is going to be perfect just because everyone else is keeping their garbage under the sink <laughs> the light bulb just came in I don't have to follow the same thing there's no one size fits for all we can change it around what works the best for us A small silicone mat can be very useful as to catch up all the water. Also, the soap dispenser won't be moving around. To add an extra storage on the door, I like to use this tape. It's a double-sided tape. It's very aggressive. Don't use it on the wall. <laughs> but it works really well on the cabinets. And I'm going to move all the dishwasher um, detergent there. And I'm going to use a bag just to make sure it doesn't get wet. Getting the morning chores out of the way so I can keep continue with the organizing. go to a baby shower this weekend and I'm slowly gathering all the presents that I want to give <laughs> and I have this box it's called a prank box and it shows something silly thing outside and I can put the presents in there that I want and I cannot wait to see her face when she's going to open her present and what she's going to think about this box <laughs> Now that the closet is much cleaner, I'm going to bring in the shelf that used to be in the kitchen. <laughs> That's how organizing goes. It's kind of stirring upside down the whole entire house, but <laughs> it will make more sense now here because I was able to put all the fruits on that narrow shelf above the countertop. I want to use them to store all my shirts there because that way I, it's more visible. bought this cool shelf at a second hand store long long time ago it was three dollars <laughs> now is the time i want to use it i want to store my water color glasses there or little bottles and then also i'm going to put the essential oils here because 
I like to see them. It's easier to grab them and locate them if they are spread out. I like the fact that it's tucked away in my closet, easy access, yet it's not out in the living room. I relocated some of the things into the entryway closet. And instead of having four baskets, like it was before for each person, I just keep everything in one. Now that this little shaft is coming out from the closet, I'm going to use on the top of the other one. So that will elevate the garbage can and we don't have to bend over to toss things in there. I have a few jars left that I have to fill it up with some snacks. The flower jar gets some refill as well. And I like to save the bag to put garbage in there. As I was passing by the fireplace and by these lanterns, I was thinking just to add a little bit of a red and valentine decor to it. A quick break at the Scandish restaurant. The chicken soup is done that I put up in the morning, so now I'm just going to make some dumplings. some clothes that I need to fold and if it's a knitted sweater I like to fold them same applies to the vest cotton t-shirts are the same I like to fold them and put them into the drawer of the dresser The ironing board is a big help as I fold because it's not slippery, I can adjust the height. Socks can be stretched out very quickly if you roll them into a ball, but if you fold them neatly, it will have a longer life. And here's some more folding to do. <laughs> the laundry is done.
here's the reason why I like to store everything in the same container because my brain can make a decision faster because I don't have to choose from shapes and sizes it's just only the content that I get to see so I can make a faster decision which one I want to use for cleaning
Today I'm going to share with you a very relaxing cleaning inspiration with you with all natural homemade cleaners that are easier on the budget and it's way better for our health. Also we gave a new look to the kitchen with this new furniture. is on the way we are getting more days with sunshine 
<laughs> that means the dirt will be more visible and spring is a great time to refresh everything I'm looking forward to the days when we're going to have sunshine and I can open all the windows and I try to break it down the spring cleaning so today I'm going to do a deeper cleaning in the kitchen I'm gonna go into the cabinets and I will show you around how I store things how I organize them and what are the methods that I like to use when I clean Since it's raining today, so I'm just going to clean the inside of the window and I will do the outside another day and the screens as well. This handy spatula came with one of the appliance that I bought, but I find a very similar one on Amazon, so the link will be in the description box. As I'm cleaning out the drawers I can share it with you how I organize the things and what are those things that are helpful to me so first of all the drawers I really like the structure of it because I can see what is on the back it's very convenient I don't have to bend over that much the downside of it I get a lots of crumbs in there so that requires more cleaning than the cabinets would but it's totally worth that to me also I like to use liner um, for many reasons one of them is just easier to clean and things that don't slide around in there so I got these dividers at Marshalls and they're kind of flexible so that makes it easy to make it fit everywhere because I can just squeeze them in and also I have some boxes that have some lids so that way they don't get dirty as fast and um, that way I can keep it clean longer and those boxes are from Ikea but they are a very old one like <laughs> maybe over 10 years old or I don't know it's it's been a long time I have those so it makes it very easy to clean with these liners and I like to use the ones that doesn't have a sticky part because whatever it has a sticky part on it it attract bugs winter mainly is just a uh, lots of rain <laughs> so we got a uh, lots of cloudy days and I don't really see the dirt it hides it very nicely but once the sun it comes out that just kind of find me how it looked <laughs> outside you guys probably don't see it as much on the camera but there were just so many spots that needed to be cleaned on the front of the cabinet another helpful tool in this kitchen these bamboo dividers I love them so much uh, I never thought they would be very useful because I can just put my things in a row gives a more specific spot for things and I can create rows that are alike items so it's definitely helping to return things where they belong
When I organized my kitchen, I kept in mind the flow, how I work in the kitchen and specifically if Jolt is in the kitchen as well, so we don't cross each other. And also I kept in mind when I unload the dishwasher or what are those things that I wash by hand. Those are all located in a convenient area where it's easy to put it away. the plates that we use every day nearby the dishwasher and these wooden plates are located next to where I keep all the mugs for the tea so when I have friends coming over it's very easy to locate everything it's in one place <laughs> I'm figuring out more and more ways to use this sticky tape so I just adjusted one of the containers that I already had and I just put this on the side of the drawer and I can put all the sponges or whatever I use to clean the dishes and I have just I have these IKEA boxes uh, where I organize everything else and I don't keep a lot of things under the sink because mainly this area I just set it aside to collect the garbage the compost the chicken food and I only keep the things here that is very necessary Necessarily, it's very easy to maintain. I'm giving a scrub to this compost bin and basically it's just a bucket with a lid. <laughs> I don't see uh, why I should keep the other one, the more complicated ones where there's an insert and bag. I just use the simple bucket. The only secret to it, I empty it once a day, which is easy because I just send the boys out with that. <laughs> and then I just clean it once a day so it doesn't become stinky. Wiping off the side of the dishwasher, I will get back to that later to do a deeper cleaning in here, but now it's got some dishes in there. I clean the cabinets seasonally. This drawer needs to get cleaned more often because this is where we keep the utensils and we open it very often and this is where the crumbs are falling in there easier and faster. So I like to use this brush to clean it instead of just using the spray bottle. I was just pushing all those little crumbs and lints around that but rinsing it with water it definitely makes it easier to clean. I wipe off every single drop of water because it needs to get super dry before I put it back. If it would be a nice warm sunny day I would let them air dry outside just to expose it to the sunshine but <laughs> we have rain today so I'm just going to wipe them dry. This area is right next to the dishwasher so it made sense to collect all the plates that we use every single day and the utensils in that area and on the bottom I have all those containers that I like to use when we go somewhere and also I keep the bread maker here and the reason for that this is the area where I can plug it in very quickly and to prepare the bread this is the area that I designated for that so it's very convenient just to grab the things from here. Somebody didn't clean the oven for a while. <laughs> 
well as you can see this is my least favorite thing to do and that's why i love this little oven because it's small although it holds a lot it can hold two big casserole dish so it gets the job done but i don't have to scrub a giant oven and I, of course later on i still have to do that but it doesn't involve a lot of scrubbing because i only used a couple of times when i needed both oven at the same time but mainly this is what i use we use it multiple times a day we warm up the bread from the freezer here we warm up food and we bake stuff in here so this is my main oven and it's easier to clean because it's smaller We got this huge jar of olives from Costco and I was just really craving it so I'm going to add some vegetables and I'm going to have a quick snack. This area is close to the pantry and this is where we keep all the fruits and some of the vegetables and that will need a deep clean as well. I removed the shafts so I can clean the wall and the floor underneath and sides since i moved them <laughs> i've been trying to find a better place for that other little furniture that is from my older son's room we changed things around in his room because he has grown so much he have bigger clothing so this rack doesn't do it anymore we had to get him a bigger dresser so i figured that could be a nice spot where i can dry things and keep things that i would have to keep on the countertop or somewhere else this is gonna be a nice designated spot to dry all those my zwilling bags and the uh, cutting boards and keep all the baskets that i'm going to use on the summer when i go to my garden I'm already behind with the seeds a little bit but I still got some time so I'm going to have some seeds that I'm going to plant today and <laughs> these seeds were so small and the direction said that I should put three of them and I couldn't even <laughs> separate them they were so tiny so we will see what will grow in here <laughs> It's amazing that a simple chair can change the whole entire feeling of the kitchen. So we have those bar stools from the previous owner who owned this house 
and uh, at, at the time it worked because it had a wooden tone and but they were very big and clumsy and hard to use and basically we don't sit there a lot so we have mostly friends who sitting there and we don't need something that has a back part that was the back and this one has a more of a simple look and streamline and it opened up the space so much even as I'm cooking I can feel a little bit more open because those back parts of the chair doesn't close the view. Say something that will make my day. I never cleaned this part of the dishwasher <laughs> and even more funny I had to look up a YouTube video on how to do that <laughs> it's actually way easier than I thought and the amount of dirt that came out the yucky things I'm so glad I cleaned that so I will keep this in mind to clean this more often me here alone now my bed feels just like the video that I watched, it suggested to put one cup of vinegar on the top rack and it honestly didn't work. So next time I'm going to pour this into the dishwasher because all the vinegar just stayed in the cup. The next task on my list is to clean behind the refrigerator. So I'm going to need the boy's hub and George's hub and then he suggested that we should remove everything from the refrigerator so it's going to easier to pull it out so <laughs> i was almost there to have a clean kitchen and everything was just spread out and it got into a bigger project that i thought but i'm so glad we pulled it out because i was able to clean on the back and that is very important to run the refrigerator the proper way I didn't use my steam mop in this tiny area it was just easier and more simple to use a rag and also I was able to clean with more details The system that I have in the refrigerator with those narrow containers, it definitely helps the cleanup and the unloading as well. So it's definitely something I really like about this setup. And since everything was out of the refrigerator, I just started to go through what I have to put into my swelling storage system, which takes out the air. So the food is lost five times longer than in any other storage. I had some garlic that I roasted earlier so I'm just going to put this into a jar and as I went through the vegetables I realized that I have some of the things that I meant to juice and <laughs> I haven't done it so I'm going to do it right now and actually I just really wanted to drink 
This is one of my favorite, the carrots and apple combo. It just tastes so good. My kids love it as well. And the next one is just a celery one and I added some ginger. I skipped the garlic, <laughs> but I added some ginger and that was very nice too. I used to include how I clean my appliances in the spring cleaning videos but I don't have to do it anymore because I just wipe it off right after I used when it's uh, all the dirt is fresh and it's easy to clean. I'm going to have more spring cleaning videos on the way but if you enjoyed this one don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to start in the kitchen and more specifically in the pantry. When I'm tackling a bigger project, I like to <laughs> break it down to layers. Way back then, when I started to simplify our life to make it easier to function on the everyday basis, that's what I did. First, I decluttered one layer and then when I was able to see more of it, what we like to use, I decluttered another layer. So since then, I've been using this method and it's been helping me so much. One of the hardest area for me to keep up with, that would be the pantry. So I am streamlining it. First, I wanna see how many jars I can fit in there. Then I can start to think about the space I have and just use it wisely. I shared this in my last video so if you want to see more details on that you can go back and watch that video but now I'm just sharing how the finished product looks like so after I dehydrate I'm just going to grind that and then that's all I have to do and it's going to be great for soups or stews or use it on a meat it's basically just vegetables Okay, so this is gonna be the new setup. So in that corner, I have some flowers that I can use for food decoration or tea. These are all the spices. I mean, I have some more on the other side, but these are the most common and basic ones that I use more of it. And this is the perfect size for that. And in this area, I have this four bigger jar and this is gonna be the snack. So each week we're going to choose four different kind of snack. It can be chips or whatever we wanna eat. I think this is gonna be a good way to put a limit on the amount and on this side. So this one is already measured out. So I just have to put this into the bread making machine and then it has it all, everything except the liquid parts. So I'm going to add that when I'm actually starting the bread making machine and that is super helpful during the week. The reason I like to put all the dried goods into jars because I get to see the actual amount because in the store they usually cheat with the size and also I really like to see the food itself so that will encourage me to use it and it gives me more ideas so I will be more creative with that. If something doesn't fit into the jar simply I'm just going to use two even if it doesn't fill up, up until the end the second one or I'm just going to use up the left over on the given day usually if it's nuts I'm just making some granola or something 
here's another tip that worked for me so instead of having a huge jar for something that I use very often I like to use the two smaller one because it's just easier to grab I don't have to use that much sugar so I don't need a huge jar unlike the flour I like to use a big one for that because I need a bigger amount when I use that but for sugar the two smaller one is just more handy I am checking the paint on the windowsill because we just painted recently If you have a hard time to keep alive indoor plants like I do, I like to use this little trick. I like to cut a couple of branch or even flowers and I put the whole jar into a basket. It looks like a plant that way. wrapping up this organizing project I bought these shelves off of Amazon and at the time I ordered that to store something as on it but when it arrived I realized that I didn't pay attention to the size so now I'm actually glad because I'm able to use it to store some fruits on it A quick reset to the dining area When I tidy up I came across with the most random items Since it's a hot day, I'm going to give a quick shower to my plants. It's 
a proper dex triangle. You have a point right here at this distance. What are you doing, Matt? Good job! It's not exactly <laughs> Matt, but... Well, it sounds like it. As we were buying grocery the other day, I spotted this card and it was screaming my younger son personality, so I had to buy it for him. Giving this high traffic area some TLC, it's always needed. When we had to go gluten-free a little bit longer than a decade ago, I discovered that the gluten-free bread dries very quickly. So I like to freeze them. First, I'm going to slice it and then I'm going to stack them offset so it's going to be easy to separate. This brush comes very handy when I have to reach very tight areas. It is essential to keep a clean bathroom more for a health reason than for the aesthetic. I leave the door open when the space is not in use so the moisture can dry easier and I keep the fabric simple with Turkish towels because they dry fast. Dish, dish soap and vinegar mixture it's a 50 50 ratio and i have this car wash brush i'm going to leave this in the shower so the boys will clean it as they take a shower and hopefully since it's a car wash brush they will get more inspired to clean Since it's really hot today, I am going to prepare some light food that we're going to eat when it's cold. And that's what I'm starting to prepare now. I am going to use some canned tuna and I'm going to add some mayonnaise. Chopping up some carrots and I'm going to set it aside while we're going to go away for a little bit. We had to do a very quick visit to a friend of our friend. We had to help her out with something and she shared some amazing herbs from her garden. 
I made this meal a lot when we did the kitchen remodeling because it's very simple, easy to make. <laughs> 